Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to add a mode bus relay board to Home Assistant and by ESP Home. And you can see this is our A16 board. This is the A6 board. But this time I have used this IS485 cable connect directly. Because you can integrate this relay board to Home Assistant by this Wi-Fi or by network. This board no network, but if you want stable, don't want integrate by Wi-Fi so that you can use this IS485 cable and connect with the master board and this is slave so this video I will show you a way so you can integrate any IS485 relay board to the ESP home not only King Kong's relay board just any IS485 mode bus board you can integrate to the ESP home just you can see here this is the home assistant I have created this switch. This switch is mode bus switch. So you can see I can turn on and turn off. You can see this relay is on and off. But I have not used the Wi-Fi. I just use this cable. So if you have the first relay board, uh, maybe this not have the enough GPIO for your use, you can extend by this extended relay module. Uh, this is second board. And maybe this is the third board. And maybe this is fourth board. So you can use this cable, the first one connect to the second one, and the second one connect to the third one, and the third one connect to the fourth one. So you can extend many IS485 board, not only relay module, and also you can connect with the energy meter, and some IS485 sensor can connect with this cable directly. So this cable will be very long distance. 1000 meter is no problem because it's IS485 that is used for the industry, uh, widely used. Okay, now in this video I will show you how to set up in the Home Assistant by ESP Home. So first, you can see here uh, that you need to confirm the diagram. So this is A16 board, uh, this A16 board, and this is A6 board. So this two board, we need the communication with the IS485. So this have the A and B, uh, just this two cable, A and B. So this A, you can connect with this A, A6 board A. And this B, connect with this B. So the first hardware, you need to just connect this two cable directly. So that will be very easy. Okay, let's look at the second, the software. And you need to confirm your board have the IS485 Modbus protocol. So this is A6 board. You can find the Modbus protocol document in our form. So that if you have your own relay module, you need to know this protocol. I click this protocol, just you will find this information. And we just need to show you how to control this relay so you can see. Set on off for every channel of digital output, just this relay output. So this is a command that is sent uh, for turn on relay 1. And uh, so you can see that will be very easy, just two commands. This is sent by the turn on relay 1 and this is turn off relay 1. So just these two commands. And uh, let's look at the home assistant. I will show you later how to these details are filled to the ESP home. Uh, this is our switch. Now I will show you this is ESP home. And you can see here, we can edit this. And just add some commands. I have added these commands in our form. So you can see here, uh, this topic I have uploaded how to add really bar to ESP home by mode bus container switch. So you can see, uh, this is a photo, and this is a home assistant dashboard, and uh, just only this command, so that will be very easy integrated by the mode bus. And uh, how this command works, I will show you. And uh, let's look at uh, this one. The first, you need to define your UART, that is the third part, the third part used by the ESP32. So this part, we have used this GPIO 13 and GPIO 16. And this is the band rate. That is this board, the ESP Home master board. This is master and this is slave. 
And this must burn. So that is the brand rate. Because we can set this brand, brand rate at here, that is A16 KCS firmware. So you can enable this IS485. You can see there are many, many different protocols you can use. And this time I have used this IS485, so I can enable this one. And this protocol, I can choose this RTU as this for our IS485 small draft board. And this time we can choose this one. And this is a brand rate. So I have set this 96. 0, 0, so I should set this ESP home also is 9600 0, 0. and this is for the UI, UART and the second we can create the mode bus the mode bus that I can create the mode bus one this this name just remember by yourself and this is a serial port ID just M bus just this one I just fill this at here M bus just this one. And this command, every command will send and wait 200 million seconds. Uh, this is up to you and not very important. And this is create the mode bus controller uh, because I have this A6, so I can create this for A6. If you have another board, uh, this is AM, so you can create another, just copy and paste and create another for this one. If you have many mode bus devices, so you can create many mode bus controller. So this one, I have only tested with the A6, so I can use this ID, A6. And the address is the A6 IS485 address, so you can see here. You can see here. This address is 1 because the local address is 1. I have set this one. If you have set this board, the second board is 2 or the third board is 3. So you can just use a same address. Uh, this is 2 and I set this is 2. This is 3, I set this is 3. So just as same as your controller address. And this is mode bus ID. Uh, this is set by yourself. I have set the mode bus 1. And this is update interview that is update interview that is very important that i have said every one second because that is for update state so you can see here is the home assistant you can see i can use this web page to turn on and turn off uh, this is no problem but if you have used this this way you can see i can use this monitor and control by the web page or maybe you can control it by your mobile phone or by your wall switch so you can see click on and click off this is not by home assistant just by this web service so you can see I can click on and this will be update the state is on and I can click this one that is off so if I can click at this one to turn on and you can see here the monitor also is turned on so I can close it so that means every one second will update the state from the A6 board so this is very important uh, for update your state so we can go on and this is interview this seconds one seconds you can replace by yourself and the next is the last step just create a switch as uh, this is mode bus switch and this is uh, a 16 board switch so I have created this switch for switch 1 for mode bus the plan 4 is used by the mode bus controller and the name is renamed by yourself is mode bus switch 1 and this address is the A6 address relay address so the relay 1 that is 0 the relay 2 that is 1 so I create the switch 1 so I can use address 1 if you create the switch 2 I can use this address is 1 and this is the register type that is coin because our user relay this is the coin of the mode bus command just a coin this is bit mask uh, just fill the 
one that means the true because these all details have in ESP home mode bus controller switch have have listed at here uh, you can see many details at here and now you just you can save and install and download to your USB cable because I have not uh, connected with the USB cable you just download to your ESP32 then we'll begin work so if you want to create the switch tool so you just copy and paste it here you, so you can just change to switch to and this address is changed to one so if you have the three switch three you just paste and this is switch three and this address is two so until you have six really so you can create the mode bus switch six and this address will be five so this video, I just show you the example, the demo, how to create one button that will be very easy. Okay, then you can, after you download, so that you can just use this way, and uh, you will find this mode bus switch you can turn on and turn off. And another way, so you can see, uh, this is mode bus. This is the easiest example I have created as this way. But if you protocol is not as this when the on that command is this way and off is this way this is different for the ESP home so that you can use this command very easily because our protocol you can see here the on is FF00 our is on FF00 and the off and the off is 0000, zero, zero, zero. so 0000, zero, zero, zero. So we have designed this board according to the ESP home. So we'll create this very easily. But don't worry if you read really board is not as this command. So you can send the customer command uh, by this way. Uh, this is customer size command by this way. So if you want to create your own command, so you can see here, I can replace with this code so you can see, I can just like this, delete this one, and copy and paste, paste it here. So this is another way, so you can see our command, that is for on and off. This is a command. So if you want to turn on and set by send by your own command, so you just copy and paste this command. This is zero one, and this is zero five, and zero zero, and this also changed to zero zero. And this is ff ff, and this is zero 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 zero, and the last one that is CRC code. This is CRC code, so you not need to uh, paste it here. Uh, just end of this command. So if you have downloaded this command uh, by the ESP home, this also can work fine. So this just send all customer size command by yourself, and for any relay board, so you can use this way. Okay, this is how to integrate the ESP home by this. Mode bus switch. Uh, thanks for watching.